Hello everybody. The Ind X200, possibly their most popular steam engine, was made between 1921 and 1941 in Los Angeles, California. Well, after having seen one at the Thresherman Antique Engine and Tractor Show last week, I was motivated to fire up mine for you to see too. My particular model was given to me by a toy collector who has since passed on. His name was Ralph Tomlinson. He told me it was manufactured in 1931, and that's the same year as my Model A Ford. Well, it comprises of a drawn copper nickel-plated boiler mounted on a cast iron bed, which incorporates a 200 watt heating element mounted to the boiler. The boiler end cap accommodates a large sight glass tube and a safety valve. The engine frame is brass with a brass cylinder and a slide valve and plated steel con rods. The flywheel is brass. The engine features a whistle, throttle, and takeoff pulley to boot. The bore is approximately three quarters of an inch with a one inch stroke and the engine weighs about seven pounds. The boiler is uh, three inch in diameter by about eight inches long and it's heated by a 120 volt heating element. The cast iron alloy engine frame is mounted directly to the top of the boiler held in place by the whistle and screw type regulator valve. It has a cylindrical valve with a slip eccentric reversing which you will see. I hope you enjoy seeing it run as much as I do. I heard that the heating elements may be hard to find to replace. I guess I could always heat it up with a torch. So please enjoy. Here we go. Okay, the way this works is this valve right here opens and closes with a very unique setup here on the left, as you can see. As that goes around, that concentric opens and closes the valve, allowing the steam to come through here, into here, and then into the main piston, which goes in and out. So when it's closed like this, the steam is off, the flywheel continues to go around, and when it comes back here, it opens up and the steam gets pushed in and pushes the flywheel. You can adjust the speed with this knob right here, and this is a drive pulley and this is the whistle. On this side is a little glass tube that shows you how much water is in the main heating chamber. Now this is an electric steam engine meaning that the heat is generated by plugging in electricity right here. I can heat it up with the torch and get it to run also but We'll run it the, the, uh, the regular way. So let's go ahead and uh, fire it up. I'll add a little H2O, which is the fuel. Next, I'll plug it in. Let the boiler heat up. Okay, let's turn this on. And there it goes.
Running totally on the steam now, there's nothing plugged in. Beautiful. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed seeing it run. I've always been fascinated with steam engines, and so I made the Steam Engine Challenger Train video that came along a few years ago, and you'll find the link to that and Ike's Steam Engine Challenger video link in the description box. So again, thanks kindly for watching, folks. Be well, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more.